Hello, this is Gail from SimSkills and today I would like to show you a very uh, cool little tool in Zoom uh, for the whiteboards that I thought you will be quite interested in. Now, now for Zoom you've got two options for the whiteboards. The first option is to share a slide. You can bring the slide and ask your participants to complete, uh, to complete the whiteboards. So, here we've got a slide and the participants have completed the slide. Now, if I want to move on as a facilitator and I'm thinking, oh, maybe we need to add some more later on. I need to save from, I'm going to have to go back onto the screenshot and bring it back at a later stage. Now, it's feasible, uh, but in the flow of the facilitation, if you don't have a producer, it could potentially be a little bit chaotic. So we're going to now see another options to prepare your whiteboard before your session starts. So let's get started. We're going to share screen, go on to whiteboard and click share. Now on the whiteboard menu, we can draw it. Obviously, this sadly can't be set up in advance. Your whiteboard will disappear uh, as soon as uh, it's, um, uh, you close the session. So now I've set up a basic stop, start, continue that I will be able to complete during the session. The beauty of this whiteboard is that now I can plan for another activity in the whiteboard um, environment. So here we are going to uh, maybe look at something slightly different and, um, and make it maybe a little bit more visual. So here we go, I've prepared um, a quadrant with uh, maybe for SWOT analysis or something. And if I want to, I go back to the bottom uh, left or bottom right, sorry, of the screen, and I can now uh, add um, another another whiteboard. I can flip through the different whiteboard. I can stop share and bring back the whiteboards. So if I click on whiteboards, here we go. You can see the whiteboards are here. Now we've moved on to what we're going to start doing and we can very easily bring back the activity and um, and ask for the participants to contribute to the next step and so on until maybe looking at good practice or flip onto the next whiteboard. So this is a uh, Zoom feature that is fairly new and a little bit unknown and I hope it will help you design and create some very good virtual classroom activities. Thank you.